FXB just going to do a video on the basics of the ID51. So here we are in VFO mode. So to be in VFO mode, you click this V megahertz button here. And I, for me, I have to be on basically P skip C2, and that's when I can just change the frequency. And you can change it using the you know the top knob. Let's just get that in shot so you can see it all. Right like this or you can tap the, the tap the button the v button here and it will change it faster tap it again even faster you change all the bands look 77 two meters which is the one you're really going to be worried about okay so if you tap it again and say we want to get a local repeater then go to 145600 well, GB3WR. Now you could turn on the automatic shift, but if you have to put the shift in, then for the repeater, so obviously you can just key the mic now and transmit. You've got this quick button here, bottom right, click that, and you've got some simple settings here. So band select, you can see the back button really is this CD button here, go back. So menu, you touch your duplex plus or minus by you hit this turn the knob and then select with the middle one here go back with the cd button a quick back to the quick menu you can select your tone look you're going to need really tone squelch so you roll down tone squelch it says it up here tone squelch let's go some more tone step so that's like 25 kilohertz or 12 i usually set it to 6.25 so select that keep going through dtmr if you're not worried about that band scope you're not worried about that we're just doing the simple stuff at the moment you can even turn on the radio look broadcast radio let's go to the top again make sure we haven't missed anything no, duplex, did we select minus? We need to get that in minus for GB3WR. Now what we haven't done is the tone frequency. I'm guessing that's on the other menu, but let's just go down. Yeah, so that's fine. Actually, it was that one we needed to select. Okay, so now there's a menu here, menu, okay? Um, duplex tone, there you are, tone squelch frequency. We want 94.8. Turn it with the top knob, select with the little blue button here. And we don't really need anything else. We've got the offset. We've got everything else we need. So let's just back out of there by pushing the CD button. Now if we key, we should get WR. Now I'm a bit weak in. So there you are, that's setting a repeater. Now let's just go away from that. So you've got the bases now, obviously you can turn all them off if you want, if you want to do simplex. Now if you just want to scan, just hold down the mode button and select all, or you could go down and you can scan, you can tell it to scan within a certain range. For example, we could do P01, select that and it will scan, so it won't go on forever. It's just scanning, you know, what we want it. And when you want to stop scanning, just push the PTT. Now if we go back into scan, hold it down, go to all, and it will literally scan forever. And then hold down the PTT, and it will stop on its own when it receives a station. Now let's just say we we did want to store GB3WR in there. So we got, we've already got the settings in, let's get the, back to the frequency. So all you do is hold down this MW button here, yeah? And then, you turn this until it, you get a blank screen like we're getting now. Yeah? If it's a blank screen, you can add things. If, if it's full of, you know, then you can either edit it or... But you're better off looking for a blank screen. And when you find that, push this quick search button here at the bottom right. Uh, bank, and first of all, you get the option to select a, a bank. So select the bank and then choose where you want that memory channel to go. So let's just choose... This one here, F, just randomly. That's it. Let's go back. Sorry, I'm confusing myself now. 
bank select we did that didn't we okay so then just when you put in what you want to put in select that push that hold down the mw and it's in there now if you want to edit it what you do is go back into memory mode so by pushing this one again memory mode you've got mr here hold it down and this time push quick search and this time select edit edit and you can add the bank name and you know names and things do what you like and then go down and write Overwrite, yes, and you've got it in there. Now, if you want to scan memories, I mean, it obviously takes quite a while to get memories in there. When you're in memory mode, just hold down that mode button again, that scan button again, and just select all. You're now scanning all those millions of memories you've got. So it is, it is a complex radio, and it, it does so much. The best thing is to try and get everything into one bank. For me, the, the simplest way is to just have one bank with your favorite channels in it. It'll probably be 20 channels. Then in DR mode, which is when you hold down this and you're in, you know, you're in DR mode, all this D star stuff, just get your hotspot in there. Get your hotspot in there and, um, and let the hotspot do the work. So, just a, a simple one on that. So if you just want to change the FM, the mode, like you're on FM here, you can just click this mode button. You go FM, FM narrow, DVA, and back to FM. If you want to go single receive or dual receive, hold down this button. So at the moment, we're just going A, B, A, B. But if you want to hit see them both, hold the main dual down. See that? Now you're on dual band. And you could have the top half on digital, the bottom half on FM or, or um, you know, whichever you like. And it will dual receive one digital and one FM analog. It will do that. I mean, these days you need like DTMF, don't you? That comes in handy. So you click here on the quick menu again. Go down to DTMF. Now you can either direct input, type it in, you know. With, with the knob again just select and key actually that's not how you do it what you do you go like that DTMF TX you put it in and then you select yeah it went off then see that going off there that's, D that's how you do DTMF another one is the uh, you can you know, just for the input look just push that side button and if you are got a shift, you'll you'll get the input. If you want to change the power, see this VM button here, and see it says mid here. Hold it down. Hold down this button. Let it change. It goes. So that's full power. Then super low. Hold it again. And again, low one, low two, mid. High is is basically not showing. If you want to do the squelch, what you do, you hold down the, let's see if I can hold it and you can still see, the black button under the PTT, and then, sorry about the volume, turn the little, the top little knob, and look, the squelch is going up and down, squelch, up and down. There you go. Oh, you've got an auto one there, let's leave it on that. So I hope this helps you sort of, you know, get the basics of this radio. It's a fantastic radio. We'll put it back into FM. We'll go mode. And we'll put our favourite repeater on there, which is 145. There you are. It goes quite fast, doesn't it? There you go, 600. All the settings I think are still in. Did we leave them all in? No, it looks like we didn't. <laughs> let's put in, uh, before we end the video, let's go um, menu. Hit this one. Go to the top. Duplex minus. 
I think we've got the tone in. Nope. Menu. Repeater tone. Tone squelch frequency. That needs to be 94.8. I think we must have gone to a different bank of channels. Repeater tone. I don't think we need that's one tone squelch. Let's try it. And we want menu, duplex tone. Let's go up. Yeah, so we'll come out of that menu, go back on here. Tone, tone squelch. There you go. Let's try now. So we're not making it today. Tone squelch. Ah, it went then. See that? And then if you wanted to hear the input, you just push the... Pretty sure you push that. There you go. Yeah, you push the black button again. Look. Goes to the input. So, 7-3. Hope this helps. All the best.